First, we turn to Lonnie Quinn, who's been tracking the storm all morning mm -hmm. long from the Weather Center. Lonnie. Okay, guys. Um, here's the deal. This is moderate wind that we have outside, but it's heavy rain that we have in spots. So a lot of folks are saying, well, when is the real heavy wind going to be kicking in? It may never kick in, okay? The winds that we see, I'll tell you this much, you are not getting hurricane force winds. You're not going to. It's not that kind of storm. It's lost that element. What it is is it's a big rainmaker. So let's get over. Let me make my way over here and, and talk you through everything. Wherever you see the yellows and especially like in the little flashes of orange, let me see some real big rain up there in the Connecticut, but we're catching these bands coming through. And this big rain in Connecticut could very well circulate around the periphery of the storm. So we got a long way to go with rain and we've already picked up colossal numbers. We've set records with the amount of rain that we have picked up. Again, this yellow color out around Fire Island stretches all the way through right into the southern tip of Manhattan and it just keeps going out towards western New Jersey and you know what it keeps going beyond that as, as well. So Warren County gets into Pennsylvania. Taking a look at how this is going to be moving. Now we keep watching every single update that comes in from the National Hurricane Center because as you well know, these things wobble and they make changes. So the next update is going to be coming in. We may get an inner hour update like around 2 p.m., but the 5 p.m. is what I really look forward to because that's usually chock full of new data. And right now, here's the latest. It pushes in and makes that hard current turn out to the uh, down to the east at one point. And it was on the table, gang, of it doing a loop and coming back to the area for like a whole other round two. That's not currently being forecast. It pushes through up into northwestern Connecticut and then curves out into the ocean. So have we dodged the worst with this storm? I, I know a lot of you are thinking that. I want to take you through every element of it. Have you dodged the worst with the wind? You betcha you have. Yep, it stayed offshore and it weakened as it came through the area from a hurricane to a tropical storm and it continues to sort of lose some of that as well because it's getting weaker, not stronger right now. Have we dodged the worst with the surge? Well, I wrote partly here because we're still watching. It's all going to depend on the track at this point in time. A more westerly track, the surge numbers go up. All right, and it is starting to make that curve now to the northwest. So that's not a good thing. But if it makes that turn out to the east sooner, that's a great thing for us. So we've got to watch this one. Do not let your guard down yet on the surge element. It's never going to give you sandy numbers. It's not, okay? So let's, let's be grateful for that. But come on, surge can do... <laughs> Two to three feet of surge can be a problem. If you live on the shoreline, you know that. And a three to six foot would be even a bigger problem. How about the rain? Have we dodged the worst with the rain? Not even close. Not even close. This is a storm about the water, not the wind. Very heavy rain bands have pushed through the area. We're going to continue to see them. And in fact, we may catch these breaks and then get another burst right behind it. Now, right now in New York City, we are catching a little bit of a break, but there will be more bands to come through. As a matter of fact, I think you get to late tonight, you think you're kind of done with it, and there could be a late night, overnight burst of some last heavy bands. All right, but for everyone, the big flooding is a risk. I mean, take a look at this. Flash flood watch for the entire area right now. Now, sure enough, you're looking at the Connecticut with the flash flood warning because that's where the storm looks like it's going to be making its landfall, probably like right about here. Maybe it's into Rhode Island, but it's just adjacent to that. On the western side, where you're going to find the biggest rain of all. So what do we see? Here we go. It's just like I told you. If this is your eye right about here, just adjacent to that eye is where we find the heaviest bands. But all of that is going to circulate around because you can see how it's moving, right? I mean, this is kind of Meteo 101 here. It's moving just like this because the, the, storm, the storm circulates air like that. And as it pushes in that direction, you're just going to continue to get more bands that come into the area. So this is what our, our current radar picture looks like. Every single icon that you see on this screen, I told you guys before, what did I guess, uh, Cindy? I guessed 50? I thought maybe 50 roads were closed. Did I say 50 on there, I think? I mean, we could, we could count this. I mean, here you have flooding on I-678. Uh, uh, the ramp is closed, all lanes closed. Um, I, I mean, if I was to count these, I said 50. I, I, there's just a lot of them, all right? L all lanes closed, New Jersey, Route 17. There's a lot of this to report. It's all over the place. And it's not just New Jersey. You have them into uh, portions of Long Island as well. North of the city, we're seeing it. Uh, it what do we got here in Hempstead? What do we got over there in Nassau? We get in, Dar in Garden City. Multiple vehicles stranded in street flooding at Rockway Ave and Stewart Ave. Okay, how about we go north? Bring me up to like uh, somewhere around like Bergen County or into... Uh, uh, what do we got? We got Throg's Neck, Throg's Neck bringing the Bronx in the Bronx. Uh, flash flood there. Uh, video. Oh, I want to see that video. You see that social media got some video of the, of the cars there. I'll see if I can find some of that for you guys. All right, let me, let's let's move forward though. 
talk about the timing and how this whole thing comes together. Because the worst of what we're getting, and it's going to be rain and it's going to be flooding. That's what it's going to be. There is certainly storm surges an element here, but it's not going to be, one more time, it's not going to be hurricane force winds. Not on the table. But the worst is right now through 11 p.m. We could be seeing another burst, though, after that into the early morning hours on Monday, but it's better by Monday p.m.